Amber, can you tell me a story? A story? What kind? Hmm, something from when you were a kid. <laughs> from your childhood. A childhood story. Mm. I'll warn you, not very happy. Oh, yes. Uh, please, Amber. All right. I grew up in a small village, hidden on a hill in a dark valley. It was named Hitara. The people of Hitara were long forgotten to most, having sheltered themselves away from others out of fear growing in the land. Old practices were dying out. The world was changing. People no longer trusted the gods that had once blessed them. Anyway, I was one who still believed in the old ways, even before I knew what I was. My mother tried her best to keep me ignorant to the truth in my blood, the burning power that I had been blessed with, she saw as a curse. And even though we are all descendants of those old gods, my elders feared me most of all. As I grew, so did my power, and the darkness around the village seemed to creep closer and closer. So, on my 16th birthday, they met in the council house and discussed what was to be done with me. I cannot remember when I was taken to the edge of the village, forced to stand on the edge and look into the rushing waters below. But I do remember their faces. <laughs> Smirking faces, watching a child face their death. And so, I prayed. It was all I could think to do. I begged the goddess of death to spare me of my suffering, to let me die quietly. It's rather sad now I look back on it, but I had accepted my fate, or the fate others had wished for me to have. But fate is not written by any mortal man. It's woven by the women who see everything. So I was thrown from that cliff, into the waters below, and... I died. You're confused. <laughs> um, yeah, a little. It's understandable. When I was thrown from that cliff, I felt a coldness envelop me. And I was no longer falling. I was in fact walking. And my eyes adjusted to the darkness surrounding me, revealing a bridge. The bridge seemed endless over a dark void of water. And then I saw her. Stood at the end was a woman. She was, I'm not sure I could describe her. Even now, after all these years, it's hard to put it into words. She felt both comfortable and consuming. She spoke to me, softly, too quiet to be heard over that great distance, yet her breath brushed my ears as she spoke words I cannot utter now. Don't look so disappointed. You'll learn them one day. And then, I woke up. Surrounded by the most beautiful forest I'd ever seen. The trees seemed to touch the very gates of Valhalla. Flowers bloomed between branches and sheltered the altar I'd been placed on. A woman stood at my side. She explained plainly what had happened. She was not a seeress but still had felt my soul still remaining in my body. This woman was my saviour. She'd pulled my body from the river and fed me an apple. But it wasn't an ordinary apple that grows from any tree. It was pure gold, yet was fresh and delicious. This apple was grown from one tree in the garden of the gods. It was these apples that gave the gods their long life. The apples of immortality. Don't look too excited now. Mortals cannot consume the apples. What? Why? As a seeress, I was blessed by the gods. With their favour, I was able to eat the apple. The woman told me her name, Ir, and told me who I had seen. That the woman was one that most would only ever see once, at the end of an endless river. Hell, goddess of the damned. 
and then the words she spoke came back to me. I had a choice to make. The fates held the threads ready to cut or entwine. What should I do now? Return to my home defeated? Seek out those who hurt me? Or find a new home? I often think of that day. The choice I made. If it was really ever a choice, or if Hal had seen my soul bare on that bridge and known what I'd do. I'd called her in my death. Perhaps I already knew the corruption in my heart. Amber. You must remember. Hell's land. Niflheim. The home to those wicked and cunning souls. Those who die in shame. Or sickness. Most would pray for Valhalla. Yet. I could only think of her at that moment. So. I chose to walk alongside those damned souls and take those who hurt me to meet the goddess of death myself. Are you surprised? <laughs> I didn't think you thought so highly of me. Ah. It's late. I have to close up the shop and you need to go home. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I need to go. Good night, Amber. Good night. Thanks for the story. What do you want? Well, what an interesting story. Although you did miss out a few parts. What do you want, Lot? I'm just popping in to say hello to my favourite mystic in Mossfell. I'm the only mystic in Mossfell, so just tell me what you want, Lot. Oh, fine, 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 fine. I need help with a small... issue. What kind of issue are we talking about here? Huh. A small issue. Just a very small issue, really. And a small... drawger. Fine. But I'm taking my usual pay. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Quite right, yes. Now, can you please get out of my sight and call me tomorrow during my working hours, like a normal person would do? Fine, fine. Good night, Amber.